everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and today is a new episode of Deb's Musings. This is a vlog I post to every Wednesday. So today I want to share my thoughts about your gray matter. So please stay tuned. This is an old tank of mine back from two or three years ago, and I had four Colombian sharks in this tank. It was a great tank, and I would love to someday get some more. So, on to my musing. I think it's safe to say we all desire to be the best we can be. It takes commitment, desire, and determination to succeed. Yet, it isn't easy no matter how you cut it. Now more than ever before, society has become focused on physical health and well-being. There is another part of our bodies that needs attention as well. Our brain. In order to stay at peak performance mentally, we need to exercise our brain. Making an effort to take care of our mind will result in becoming better thinkers. Our brain is a marvel in that it continually grows, expanding and adapting to stimuli that surround us. In order to stay sharp, it's important that you exercise your brain. Like any other muscle in our bodies, with lack of use, our minds become soft and slow down. Similar to making a conscious choice to get into shape physically, we need to do the same with our mind to keep it sharp as well. Our brain is the most complex object in the entire universe. That's pretty outstanding. Each of us has this amazing gray matter that holds unfathomable capabilities. Through the use of our brain, we have the ability to remember thousands and thousands of bits of information. Our memory is the cornerstone of our brain function. In order to ward off forgetfulness, and many other mental illnesses, it's imperative that we regularly challenge our minds, keep learning, multitask, teach yourself something new, read a book, do a puzzle. Just remember that your brain is constantly soaking up information. Regular physical exercise is also connected to healthy brain function. It will actually increase the formation of new brain cells and strengthen areas such as your memory and learning skills. There are many simple ways for keeping your brain fit. Get plenty of sleep. We have all experienced trying to get through our day on inadequate amounts of sleep. Proper nutrition is a big one. Avoiding stress is important in most aspects of health, so it goes hand in hand with mind health as well. Don't allow yourself to fall into routines. Change things up and keep things new and exciting. Listen to a different radio station. Try switching hands for simple things like brushing your teeth or combing your hair. Have someone feed you while you're blindfolded. Use your brain instead of your eyes. Sharpen your senses. Challenging your brain like this causes you to concentrate a little more to get the simple things accomplished. In effect, you're giving your mind a really good workout, and it's amusing, too. Social interaction is a wonderful mind workout. We concentrate on what's being said, garnish new information, and are thinking about what our response will be all at the same time. There are so many, many ways to work out that noodle. So be creative, have fun, and get that gray matter in shape. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. I wish you a wonderful rest of the week. And if you have a topic you'd like me to share my thoughts on, you can leave me a comment below. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.